So um, when doing a problem like this, main important thing I want you guys to understand is now we are not multiplying a binomial. Oh, now we're not multiplying a monomial times a monomial. Now we're multiplying a monomial times an expression. And that expression is being grouped by parentheses. What's also important about that expression is the terms inside the expression are separated by addition and subtraction. So when you have a term or an expression multiplying by another term or expression where those terms are being separated by addition or subtraction, you have to apply what we call the distributive property. And the rule for distributive property basically states when you have a term outside of that, you have to multiply that term times all of the terms on the inside. So basically, I need to multiply negative x squared times x squared, negative x squared times negative 4x, and negative x squared times 5. So I'm going to write it all out. Once you guys get used to this, you don't need to show this step. But I'm going to multiply negative x times x squared. Multiply negative x times a negative 4x. Multiply negative x times 5. Notice how I used that negative x, right? It's my, if that was just a positive x, I would say plus x, plus each of those products. Then I put all these terms in parentheses to make sure that I um, keep the negative signs. Now, negative x times x squared, add the powers, negative x cubed. Negative times negative is a positive. x times x is a positive 4x squared. Right? You add the powers. Negative x times 5, that's a variable times a number. So that's just going to be a negative 5x. Anybody have any questions? OK. Because now I was going to do that. 